If you are thinking about selling your house, you need to know exactly how much you can take home after all the fees and expenses, or what we call closing costs in your real estate transaction. This number should be your borderline, not in the sale number. Hi, I'm Ava, a local realtor here in San Jose, California. Welcome to my channel. Before you get started, you should ask your listing agent for a net sheet. It's an estimated settlement statement showing you how much money will be wired into your account at closing. With this information on hand, when negotiating with the buyers, you know what your borderline is. You will have a better idea of what an acceptable sales price. In today's video, I'm going to break down the exact closing fees based on a real transaction of mine. I was a listing agent selling a townhouse here in San Jose. This is a very standard closing statement. The left column debit has all the fees and expenses, and then the right column credit shows all the incomes like sales price and any credits that need to go back to the status. In this example, you can see the sale price is $1.25 million. The next section is probations and adjustments. You can see the seller is getting some property tax and HOA fees back from the days they no longer own a home but already paid the property tax and the HOA fees after closing. Next section is commission. Real estate commission is one of the biggest closing costs. And this is paid for by the seller, which is typically 5 to 6% of the sales price. The commission is shared by the listing and the buying agent and their companies. You may view this as a huge cost of selling your house, but when you get a good agent, that agent actually pays for him or herself throughout the whole process. They help you prepare your house for sale, analyze and advise a best asking price, market your house to get a maximum exposure, manage all the showing requests, choose and negotiate the best offer for you. They oversee and supervise the closing process to make sure a successful transaction happened. Sometimes even after closing, your agent will still be working on your behalf with the buyers. Then we have a $175 mobile notary fee. Before the pandemic, seller and buyers go to an escrow and title company to sign the closing documents. During the pandemic, title company started sending notary to the sellers and the buyers home to, to sign documents due to COVID concerns. The title company continues this practice and just adds this mobile notary as a standard charge. But if you want to sign at an office, you can inform the title office and they will remove this charge. Escrow and the title charges. California is an escrow state and we use an escrow and title company to settle the house purchase payments and record the title. The ballpark figure of an escrow fee is usually below 0.2% of the sale price. I use Orange Coast title and the cost of this is about 0.16% or out of a million dollars, you are looking at $1,600. It may vary from title to title company. Also, some small administrative expenses here, like delivery and the filing fee, that's than $100 combined. Aside from the escrow fee paid to an escrow title company for their service, owner's title insurance is another big expense. This insurance provides protection to the homeowner if someone filed a lawsuit against the home uh, from before the homeowner purchased it. This is required by your buyer's mortgage bank and is paid for by the seller in Santa Clara County. Recording charges. There are transfer fees charged by the county and the city. Santa Clara County charges 1.1 for every 1,000 or $1,100 for a million dollar sale price. San Jose has a city transfer tax. It's $3.3 per $1,000. So for a million dollar sale, it's, it's $3,300. And this cost is shared by seller and buyer 50-50. Next charge is HOA transfer fee. This townhome is in an HOA community and it is standard for seller to pay for a transfer fee. In the miscellaneous sections, you can see the seller has not paid the county property tax. So they need to pay that in order to close the house. Property tax is on average 1.3% of your property's assessed value. Homeowners pay property tax two times a year and they are due November 1st and February 1st. By the way, this number here is a direct import from county tax record. Escrow company does not calculate this number. 
we also see a $650 home warranty charge for the first year. This is typically paid for by the seller. The seller also needs to pay the invoices for the home inspections and the natural hazard reports. All these unpaid fees will be deducted from the sale price at closing. One thing we don't see it here, but most homeowners will have this particular item, is the mortgage owed on this home. My client here paid off his mortgage before the sale. That is why he can take a lot of more money home. If you still have a mortgage on your house, go get your mortgage balance and a plugging that number into your net sheet so you have a better understanding of what your walkaway number will be. For my clients, after all the fees and expenses, he took home right around $1.17 million. All right, after this review of a real sale, I hope you know more of what to expect when you get to sell your house. I hope you find today's video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I will see you next week.